My name is Eric Nyman and I'm the president of Americas for Every Matrix. So how have you found SBC Summit North America so far? Uh, I think it's been a great event. Uh, there has been uh, attendance from both incumbent players in, in, in the US market and, and also a good attendance from, from Europe, considering you know, the difficult times we're in. Uh, and great panels, of course, so it's been, it's been good. You've been active in the US market since the start of regulated gaming. Um, so what is the state of the US market so far and how is every matrix catering to the needs of its clients? The US market, uh, the, the thing you know is that it will change and it will surprise us and it's continuously uh, doing so. I came in here in 2015, uh, uh, part of a uh, you know, long-term plan establishing a European player uh, in the US. Uh, and um, uh, back then it was, uh, it was of course a lot of focus on, on New Jersey, right? Now we see that uh, there's a multiple states opening up. The, uh, the awareness of, of gambling and sports betting in the US is uh, more out there uh, than, than we've seen. Um, and and uh, you know, looking at you know, five years in retrospect and where we're heading, uh, not many would have thought that companies like FanDuel and DraftKings would have taken such a dominant role uh, just a few years back. So, you know, uh, my, my crystal ball is not better than anyone else, but I think we, we will see others, players moving into the space. Uh, and for a company like Every Matrix who decided to move in uh, last year, uh, we're, we're in a sweet spot uh, with, you know, a large, uh, large offering of various products. Uh, but I, I still think, you know, it will be uh, some surprises uh, going forward. How is Every Matrix working with emerging and existing companies as more states open up? It's very much a state-by-state state, uh, approach. The first market we decided to enter was uh, New Jersey, uh, where obviously a lot of the platform deals are, are done, right? There are new players coming into to a quite dense market. So New Jersey has been very much for Every Matrix to start selling our casino content that we build in-house so with two game studios. Uh, and then build the relationships on that. In a new state like Indiana or in Iowa, we have a unique day one opportunity, I would, I would call it, where we can you know, sell our uh, an entire turnkey. Being a turnkey provider where we have various products, uh, casino management system, uh, odds matrix, which is our sports book, game matrix, which is our PAM, uh, it presents various opportunities depending on customer uh, requirements. For sportsbooks, uh, I think our casino management system and cross-vendor bonusing product, Casino Engine, is, uh, is a great add-on, uh, which also, of course, provides aggregation of some 140 suppliers, which is the biggest in the industry. How is your Miami-based Armadillo Studios helping you to cater to the needs for US casino operators? Five months into the job, uh, I, uh, you know, we, we identified uh, a situation where game content is, is clearly lacking in the market. Uh, we have one game studio already in-house, so that's Spearhead, uh, but then we decided to, to open up a US-focused game studio uh, to cater for, for the US market. Uh, we have seen that branded games uh, in the US is more important than, than in Europe. Uh, and I also think you can do a lot of work on jackpot uh, products, which are localized for the various states. You know, finding the right sweet spot where, where a jackpot drops is, is something we have a lot of intel and data on that we are analyzing. So, uh, yeah, that's what I would say. And then, of course, you know, try to find new, unique features. Uh, which, which is something we do for Europe uh, and, and any, any global market, really. How important is localized content when it comes to US players? A successful game in Europe will most likely be successful in, in, in the US as well. But what, uh, what I have, have identified through the years is that branded games uh, are, are more successful in the US market and, and it's more let's say, uh, players get more familiarized with that kind of content, um, especially the ones that are new to gambling. And there are plenty, plenty of those. Uh, I also think that looking into uh, uh, jackpot games that are localized for, let's say, in New Jersey, on nine million people could be 
uh, uh, is of course very, very important. Uh, and then you have other states which, which has a bigger population, uh, probably should have a jackpot product that caters for that market as well with you know, a higher uh, dr drop price uh, and, and so on. So it's, it, it's a lot of you know, intel and data to analyze and, and to see uh, where, where you best fit your product. And that goes for not just casino games, it also goes for the sports book and, uh, and the PAM. Being flexible is something that is super important for us with our in-house developed technology. Can you give us a sneak peek into your plans for 2022? We have a lot of things in, in the pipe. Uh, we are uh, you know, looking into a multi-state approach. So just looking at the various markets, uh, we, we will go into uh, up to 10 states next year, uh, including Ontario and Canada. Uh, we also, the reason why we're in Miami is that we also keep a close eye on what's happening in, in Latin America. We have licenses in, in Colombia, and we are you know, proceeding with, with a quite interesting agenda in, in Brazil as well. In terms of product, we will continue to, to redevelop you know, our uh, technology stack. Again, everything is uh, developed in-house and we are very flexible in our offerings. We will launch a new product uh, on, on the casino side, which is related to jackpots, which I think is, is very, very interesting. Uh, and continue expanding on our cross-vendoring cross-vendor bonusing program will, will be, uh, you know, new things you will see in the roadmap going ahead. I'm starting to the US market more and more now. Um, where do you envisage every matrix in the US market in five years time? I think, uh, again, to, to reconnect to the, to the first question, there will be some surprises down the line. Uh, I think for us, having, uh, you know, a full turnkey offering, uh, we have, uh, we will, uh, of course, score a bunch of turnkey deals uh, and I also think that our casino library will be bigger and uh, in five years time based on my previous experiences it should be the largest market for uh, for every matrix so we're very very excited to be here and we're certainly not late into the game it just started